Hello everyone, Dave Landry here with DaveLandry.com. Today we have a great lesson in damage control. It's a great lesson not because it worked, but because it actually didn't. Now, why would I want to show you an example that didn't work? Well, because everyone out there shows you things when they work, and it makes you feel stupid sometimes. It makes you feel like, well, maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. So I want to show you that sometimes it doesn't work, but I also want to make a case for following the process, even though sometimes it won't work. Before we get into that, there's a disclaimer screen. As you know, you can lose money trading, or as I like to sum it up, all predictions are about the future, and a lot of stuff can happen between now and then. All right, let's talk about damage control, or again, at least an attempt at it. We came in today long AROC. Stop was 710. This is the actual open model portfolio. We already taken partial profits out of this, the swing trade profits, and now we're, we're in trend following mode. As you can see on some of these other ones, we've been following the trend for quite a while on those. Unfortunately, though, we had to stop in place, or we had to stop, I should say, at 710. And notice what happened. The stock gaps below the stop overnight. Now, keep in mind, you have to pull your stop before the open or only use day orders so you don't have that order in place. Now, if, you're, if you are not disciplined enough to enact this type of discretion, then by all means, leave that stop in place, get taken out of stock at a little bit worse price than you intended, and move on. But if you're willing to exercise a little bit of discretion, and this comes with a little experience, then what you need to do is think about uh, some sort of uncle point. How much room are you going to give that stock before bailing out? Because sometimes what will happen on a big opening gap situation like this, the stock will gap lower, but nearly immediately turn around and begin to rally. Let's take a look at that on an intraday chart. Now, before we get into this, people often say, Dave, how many minutes should I give it before deciding to bail out? Well, there's no hard and fast rule for that. Let the stop open, give it a few seconds at least, see what happens, and then if it keeps dropping, you have to get out of the way. The reason you can't say, well, let's just wait 15 minutes because the stock could continue to drop. Sometimes you just have to cut your losses and run. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. But if you can survive that opening range, Again, have that uncle point in mind. If that gets taken out, it gets taken out. You get out of the trade, no questions asked. Now, your incremental risk is a little bit bigger because you will lose a little bit on the second loaf of the trade. But even though you're taking on a little bit extra risk, all it takes is one trade, maybe only one trade in your entire career, to pay for many times when you use discretion in your trade so i would recommend you use discretion but only once you get a little bit of discipline for instance if this stock would have turned around and went straight back up it would have well been worth it. and unfortunately this time it didn't work any questions as usual dave at davelandry.com for more information go to davelandry.com slash videos for lessons and again shoot me an email if you have any questions everybody have a great day and may the trend be with you